Good afternoon, everybody. I uh, hope everyone's enjoying the new start to the week and the last uh, day of reasonably blue sky for a little time. We're going to have some big, strong weather patterns coming in over the next few days. Um, and so just a couple of preventative health measures. Make sure that um, your pets have um, plenty of cover. They're away from the elements. If there is going to be thunder, I don't think there's going to actually be a lot of thunder, um, but there is going to be a lot of, um, of uh, storms and so if they do get scared um, worried or concerned in the stormy weather please let us know because we do have um, some uh, somewhat more herbal type answers to to fear and anxiety and we also have medications and so it's really important that we look after the mental well-being of our pets um, in, in in the coming days as we go into this massive east coast low system if you are skiing I am insanely jealous of the dump of snow. It's not probably quite enough, but at least it's better than skiing on grass. So for those of you who are away, um, please enjoy it. Um, but more seriously, um, we have had a reported case um, in the eastern suburbs of parvovirus. Uh, parvovirus is a infectious gastroenteritis virus, so it affects the, the, the stomach um, and the intestines of dogs. I think it's really important at the outset to remind people that the human parvovirus is different to the dog parvovirus. I know we're all sick of viruses and the differences and the slight changes that make them novel, um, but it is really important to know that the human parvovirus has nothing to do um, with what I'm talking about today. So the dog gastroenteritis virus, known as parvovirus, there's been an outbreak in a, um, an adolescent dog that was apparently fully vaccinated. What that means is that um, the vaccine um, has um, uh, potentially um, uh, not been effective. Um, and there's a whole lot of questions there. It wasn't, didn't come from our veterinary hospital, so I can't comment. I'm not sure about the vaccines um, I've used, uh, but most of the vaccines that, that are available are very effective um, in controlling the disease. It is really important that dogs get their annual or triannual vaccine. Um, so once a year or once every three years, depending on what vaccine you're using. Um, and it is really important that puppies have three injections. So when, when you get a puppy, they should get one, they should come with one between six and eight weeks. We do a vaccine then at 10 weeks and we do another vaccine at 14 weeks. So it's absolutely crucial um, that your dogs have had that. It's absolutely crucial that they have their annual or their three every third year vaccine. If they haven't, or if you're unsure, please call your veterinary hospital and double check. Look at the vaccination certificate or the last, um, or your card to double check to see and to ensure that your pet is up to date. I'm not creating panic, there has been no transmission. So you know we've heard about this quarantining, we're unfortunately sick of viruses at the moment, um, but there's been no tr local transmission um, of disease that we are aware of. Um, and so it's really important that, that everyone understands that there has been no local transmission of disease. Um, and that's obviously what we're trying to prevent. Now, the problem with parvovirus is it's incredibly environmental sta environmentally stable. Um, so it will sit potentially on surfaces, on concrete, in cars um, for a significant period of time. So, um, so be aware of that. Um, and if your pet has come in contact with these dogs, and you'll find out because the, 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 the people who have been involved, um, the entities involved are doing an excellent job at, at informing anyone who has potentially come in contact with those dogs. If your dog has become um, in contact with this potential uh, virus, um, then what we would recommend is that, that everything is cleaned thoroughly with some form of antiviral product. Something easily, easily attainable from, from the supermarket is just bleach. Um, keep in mind, we don't use any bleach products in this veterinary hospital because bleach is actually very um, pungent in the nose and really upsets dogs. Our dogs have about a thousand that the, the sense of smell that, that we have and so it's really important. But if, if, if that's what you're going to use, then, then, then that's absolutely fine. 
Now, um, if your dog is fully vaccinated, um, then I don't believe you are going to have a problem. And obviously we said this, I got up there and said this about coronavirus, we, we didn't know, and we still don't know a lot about coronavirus um, and, and what's happening. But um, as far as we are aware, the newer forms of the, of the vaccine um, uh, are completely effective against all strains of parvovirus that we have seen. Now, there's been an outbreak of parvovirus two years ago in Adelaide and, and in, in Greater Western Sydney. Um, there has also been an outbreak more recently up the coast um, from uh, concentrated in, 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 in Western Brisbane and southwest, south east Queensland um, and then it's spread down to Coffs Harbour um, and so it is really important that um, if you are going into those areas as well and you're traveling um, especially given at school holiday time please make sure that you vaccinate your dogs and have them fully up to date with 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 vaccines now the vaccine the virus unfortunately is the incubation period for the virus is seven to 10 days. And so um, it could take up to 10 days um, for uh, any clinical signs to become apparent. And therefore, um, any dogs that have um, come in contact with the potential dog should go into, I'm sorry to say it, self-isolation. Um, now, there's not gonna be any people in hazmat suits coming out and there's no New South Wales fines for this one um, from the police, but um, if your dog has come in contact, we're recommending that from the last point of contact that you self-isolate your dog for 10 days. Um, the virus is spread by the feces, which means that feces should be picked up, cleaned up and disposed of, not left around. Um, and we're hopefully going to uh, try and make sure that there, there is no uh, local transmission in the eastern suburbs. So um, the, the, I just want to summarise for those who, who get a bit bamboozled like me and there's a lot of talking and a lot of movement, um, I want to summarise the first thing. The first thing is that the vaccines, um, certainly the vaccines that Vet HQ use are 100% effective um, against parvovirus, that's step one. Step two, puppies need three vaccines and then you need an annual vaccine. So the first um, annual vaccine, which is at about 13 or 14 months, and then you need one with us every three years for parvovirus. The third thing is uh, that if your dog has come in contact with this virus, um, because we don't know whether it's going to be the tip of the iceberg and the start of a, of a whole big problem or not, um, we would recommend that your dog is self-isolated for a period of total 10 days after the last contact. Um, so if it's already been three days and it was last Friday, then we recommend at least another seven days only. Um, if your dog does develop diarrhea, you need to seek veterinary attention immediately. Um, there is a test that we can do, which is relatively minimally invasive, um, and um, we, we can get an answer almost straight away. Um, the final thing is that if um, you have um, any of your parts or any of your uh, equipment has come in contact with a pos this positive dog, then what we would recommend is that you use an antiviral product um, or bleach to eliminate the spores from the environment. The spores from the, in the environment can are incredibly environmentally stable on any surfaces, concrete, grass, anything for a significant period of time, anywhere up to 12 months. In Sydney, with the heat over summer, we tend to believe that, that the summer will, will, will eliminate it and the heat, but um, at the moment, especially with the moisture and the rain and the cold, um, it is incredibly environmentally stable. So we recommend even bleaching um, um, to, to remove it um, or using an antiviral product. If there are any questions or concerns or comments um, or queries, that's what we're here for. Um, I have a great team here at Vet HQ in both Darlinghurst and Double Bay that can answer your questions. The nurses are um, have all, we've just had a meeting on it um, and I've just given everyone the top highlights. Um, and if there's any further questions, then send me an email um, or give us a call um, and we'll be happy to discuss it with you. Um, that's it. Um, we can now all go back to, to, to storm watching. Um, it's going to be a fascinating uh, few days. Stay safe, stay dry. Um, and if there's anything that we can do, you know how to reach us, vethq.com.au. Give us a call um, on our respective numbers um, or um, send us an email. Um, we'll be very, very happy to talk to every one of you. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye now.